Hey there, answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. This is a new question we're gonna be answering through a little tutorial here just to talk about some uh, concept that was asked. And the question that was asked is what is what is a get attribute or what is that method, what does it mean? Um, Priyank Priyanka, sorry if that's not how you pronounce her name, but Priyanka asked this question because you see it a lot in various code. Like you definitely do see this a lot. And this is a method that essentially does something just like dot notation, but it I believe it comes from C, so another programming language, because there is, before there were these get attribute methods and set attribute methods, which if this completely doesn't make sense, let's actually jump into an example so you can see ex what I mean by this. So in Python, if we created a class, let's just call it ABC, all caps, we're just gonna make our Python class and we're gonna put an attribute in there called X and we'll just say it some value. So it's just some string, right? So we just made this very basic class with some string called some value set to the property of X. So if I create an instance or an object of this class by just doing ABC equals to that, exactly like that, I could do object.x, right? So that is getting that attribute. It actually gets the X attribute inside of the ABC class, or more specifically for this particular instance. So if I did obj.y, it's gonna give me this attribute error. ABC instance has no attribute Y, right? So that attribute does not exist. Now you can also use get attribute and get the object, and then as a string, you can use the attribute name. So I could do the same sort of thing, get attribute object X, or I could try Y. It does the same sort of thing. And this exists because of other programming languages. Other um, programming languages do these getter and setter sort of methods to allow you to actually set things, so or get things. So when it comes to setting things, I can do object dot y equals to some value and now when I do object dot y it actually gives it to me and if I press up a few times and do the get attribute method it does get that for me so there is another one just like get attribute we can do which is set attribute which is the same thing just setting it instead of getting it so to set an attribute we already did that using dot notation we can now do it using the convenience method or the built-in function for doing it, and that is set attribute. And now I can do obj, and I'll say um, a, and then I'll set the value being this is a. Press enter, obj.a now would give us this is a, but let's do the get attribute method, and we'll do obj and a. And this is what we get. So obj.a gives us the same sort of thing. Now, let's see what this does as far as when we're working with a new instance of the class. So if I say ABC, or let's say object two equals to ABC, and now I do object two dot A, it still says it doesn't have this attribute, right? So when we work with instances or objects, we have to remember that sometimes we can set the instance or of the class itself, we can set it directly, but that usually doesn't apply to the entire class, right? In this case, it definitely does not apply to the entire, entire class. Instead, it's going to the direct instance, what I've also been calling object, in this case, obj is an instance of the ABC class, but it is setting it directly to that. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, thanks so much for the questions, guys. Again, we're answering questions at httpjoincfe.com slash knock. If you ask in the comments there, and also upvote the ones you want to see more of. And if we give you an answer, if there's actually an answer here that you want to see a follow-up to, please ask it underneath that answer, like reply to it right there, just so we can get that conversation going in one place. The goal long-term is eventually to actually have a place somewhere that has a better search engine so you can ask these questions a little bit better. But right now, this works really well until we build up a library of responses. Thanks so much for the question. Priyanka, um, and we'll see you guys in the next one.